What's up guys, my name is Alex and in today's video I just want to go over the fork policies on your guys' Shopify stores. Those being the refund, privacy, terms of service, as well as your shipping policies. So these are four very important aspects of any store and setting them up wrong can lose you a ton of money as well as in some cases you might find yourself in a legal battle. So in order to avoid this, let's talk about why they're important, how to actually create them, and how to get them on your store's website. So let's jump in right now and take a look at that. Alright, what's up guys? We're over here on the Shopify homepage. We're on the Free Plus Ship promo store. I made this store for a previous video to uh, go ahead and do a demo on it to show you guys how to set up the Free Plus shipping. So I'll just go ahead and use this store again for the purpose of this video since I don't actually have anything set up on it. You'll start by going to settings in the bottom left corner. From there you'll click on legal. Over here you'll see the four policies that I talked about at the beginning of this video and you'll want to start by just going ahead and clicking create from template. It will automatically craft a refund policy for your store with some of the personal information in it like your guys' store's email address, your uh, address in some cases on some of these policies. So you'll actually want to go ahead and remove your address on some things but uh, really what you want to do with the refund policy is just go through and kind of reword some things to fit your store So whatever you have in mind if you want to offer returns uh, Where they pay postage or you pay postage just depending on where you're going to go with this route adjust these um, templates to where you need them to be so the uh, template that it automatically crafts up for your store is not usually ideal for what you're doing with your brand so like I said you really just want to be creative with it and just change a few things to meet your actual stores policies that you have in mind from there you'll go ahead with privacy policy same thing terms of service same thing and just go ahead and scroll through and actually read all of them so you know what they contain and to make sure they actually fit right on your store so Shipping policy actually does not have a template, so this is something where you might actually want to look up a template online or actually just craft this yourself uh, based on some of these templates above for inspiration. So in your shipping policy, you'll want to include some key points such as processing time, shipping time, and just some of the key features before they actually go to check out what they would want to learn. So once you have all of these policies created, go ahead and click save. And we actually need to get these on your store's pages right now because right now they're only going to show up for checkout. So we actually want these on the footer of our Shopify store. So from here, you'll just go ahead and click online store, then go to navigation. And you'll see these menus right here. So like I said, we want to put these policies in the footer menu. So I'll go ahead and click on the footer menu and I'll click add menu item. So on here, we'll just go ahead and type in shipping policy and if you scroll through here you'll actually see the policies page at the bottom and oh sorry we don't have the shipping policy I didn't save that so we'll just go ahead and do the refund policy so if you click that uh, add that and then click save it will actually show up on the bottom of your web page underneath search your refund policy and you can just go ahead and read your policy on there so it's really that simple just go ahead and craft these up get them to the actual liking of your store and then go ahead and add them to your pages. Now these are very important because these are actually how you're going to enforce your policies. So if somebody wants a refund for an item that you actually don't support, you can send them a link to your refund policy and explain why you're not accepting this refund. So I hope I was able to help you guys out with this video as well as earn your thumbs up. If this video helped you out in any way, go ahead and subscribe as there's plenty more to follow. I have two ecom resources linked in the description below, the first one being the ecom advantage Instagram page. On there you'll find useful resources as well as I'll answer your guys' questions and help you guys out. The second link in the description below is the ecom advantage Facebook page and if you guys want to join that group go ahead, it's free to join and you'll find like-minded entrepreneurs in there and we really just ask and answer questions and help each other grow. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.